In the last video, we showed how the vision tracker script calculates the score. So whenever we want, we can get that score of how much we're looking at uh, an object from negative one to one. And in this video, we're going to look at the history of, of looking at it. So how much for how long generally have we, we've been looking at different objects. Which is how you do things like in this scene where you look at this fish long enough and it'll, uh, the golden sparkles will go away. So in this scene, I really just attached a vision tracker to the, the sparkly fish. And vision tracker is this script, which will keep track of how much your camera is looking at it. And we're going to look over the whole thing now. So, uh, this interval is how often it'll check. So you can raise or lower this if you have like 10,000 things, maybe lower it or it's not as important to you. Look at threshold. So that look at score is negative one to one. Well, this is a threshold where we will decide, are we looking at it or not? And that's how this scene works, where you see the direct score in the middle for cube is going up right now because my score is 0.83. It's higher than the threshold. But if I look at it just a little less, direct is no longer going up. This is how long the history is going to keep track of for its seconds. So it'll look into the five seconds into the past to average our, our, our score. This is an optional maximum distance. So right now it's at 20. If I Here's this, uh, this cube. So it says 0.91 for the cube. Well, if I back off, eventually now it hit negative one. So even though I'm really looking at the cube, it, it thinks I'm really not looking at it because I've broken that max distance. And these are some things we'll look at as I use them. So let's start with the direct score. Um, this is a coroutine. I have a couple of videos about that. So when we start, we're going to start the coroutine. All that really means is that this stuff here is going to keep happening every, in this case, every interval of seconds. Okay, so every 0.5 seconds, this stuff is going to happen. That's all the coroutine is doing here. So what we're going to do, get the score. If it's greater than 0.8, then add 0.5, you know, the 0.5 seconds to the total seconds that we've been looking at it. And get look at score is just that. So now how about that history? So the history is sort of a combined average over five seconds of how long we've been looking at this cube. Okay, we're generally at the 0.7 range. I can look away and then look right back and it kind of stays where it was. So it's sort of, it stabilizes it because otherwise the score will be all over the place. Now there's a many, many ways to do this. I decided to do this with a, a little array and to loop over it. So the way this is going to work is pretty simple. We have an array, which is a list of five numbers. And we'll start, let's say, on this one. And we'll say, okay, we're going to update it because it's time to, time to do that. So I'm going to replace this value with, you know, the new one. And then if I ever do get history, I'm just going to find the average of all these numbers. So I'll add them all up and divide them by five. But then 0.5 seconds later, I'm going to actually jump over to this one. So then we're going to update that one to 0.9. And now at any point, you know, if I do that history, I've got some different numbers now. And then 0.5 seconds later, once again, yep, yeah, we're going to update this one. So all I really have to do is keep track of which box I want to update next. So here's where I make the number of boxes I want. It's just a funny thing where 5 seconds divided by 0.5, so I've got 10 boxes. So that's how big my array is. This is that part where I said I was going to add up all of the numbers and then divide them by 10 in this case. There's 10 boxes, but you know, however many just to get the average. And here's that part where we update the boxes. So 
So remember, this is the coroutine. This happens every 0.5 seconds. And here's the boxes. So this box, well, the history index, so starts at zero, is going to become the new score. And then we're going to go to the next box. This history index will go up by one. But if it's too high, you can look up this modulo character to see how that works. If it's greater than ten, uh, nine, because if it's 10, then it's too big, it goes back to zero because the indexes are zero through nine. So now Vision Tracker is a tool that you can use to write other more elaborate scripts. The one I have for the fish, all you uh, collecting the golden fish, all you need to do is make another object. And in this case, add collectible. And there's a couple thresholds. Let's say it's going to count if you look at it for point if you break uh, the history threshold of 0.8. So the, over the past five seconds, the average is 0.8 that you're looking at it. I'll add the golden thing just to make it look nicer. Otherwise, you can't really tell anything happened. And it's sparkling, and when you look at it long enough, it will poof and increment a, a counter for collectibles, which, which is a script we'll look at in the next video. So I hope that was useful, and you should be able to now tweak those values and add to that script to make the vision tracking for maybe your VR app or some other, some other game idea.